You see that silver coin way over there in the distance? It matters. It matters a lot. And when it comes to stacking silver, sometimes it just takes one little coin to make all the difference in the world. Let's explore! Let's take a closer look at this silver coin. This is a silver half dollar. That's right, constitutional silver. For those of you around the world, we like to refer to this as spending silver because that's really the bottom line because it doesn't necessarily mean that a constitution has to be involved because many nations around the world from all different types of government, from different types of uh, systems, cultures, use silver as money. In fact, I would dare make the claim that silver is still money today. It's just not spending money. It is dormant money. It is commodity money in a sense. But there was a day not long ago, in fact, the last century, when silver was spent every day as money. And that's what you are looking at here. This slightly worn um, Franklin half dollar here uh, it circulated. And um, I think it's a great way. There's a lot of these types of coins out here constitutional silver and spending silver in general is fairly commonplace and you can get it for fairly close to bullion price now the prices have fluctuated in fact in recent months and over the past couple of years there's been a great demand for this stuff as it is true they aren't making it anymore um, and it is not uh, something that you can find uh, regularly um, at coin shops within the last couple of years. I know my one of my local coin shops didn't have it for a while, but uh, stocks have come back in. It essentially people come, they sell their silver that they've had, um, you know, passed down from previous generations, and they find that, oh, this is silver. We'll go sell it at a local coin shop. Buy loads. Because what happened, Americans here in the United States and even in countries around the world, they would uh, essentially sock away these silver coins. They would hoard them. Of course, hoarding is a ne has a negative connotation, but silver stacking in, in, the, in the modern sense that we saw started in probably in 1965 in this country when they, when they removed silver from coins altogether in general. That's right. Pure 90% silver coins. And so this is why, especially some of the late or the early 60s coins tend to have the have a really really nice luster to them uh, not very circulated and this is an example of one of those like hey it, it went for a couple of years and they found out that they were going to be taking the silver out of the coinage so people uh, held these things back so whenever you go to a local coin shop and they have a whole bunch of it well luckily they bought from uh, from uh, estates or collections and uh, they can sell it to you uh, right now, um, I bought this for about uh, $20 per dollar. So I spent about, just about $10 for this coin. Um, and um, and actually half dollars for a while, we're going for a little bit higher of a premium. Actually, I take that back, I think I paid $11 for this coin. But uh, regardless, um, you know, uh, you you take something like this, this is, this is the best way to buy fractional silver, in my opinion, is constitutional silver. And of course, when you put one coin on top of another, uh, you have got a stack. You are a silver stacker. It just really takes two coins to be a silver stacker generally, uh, or specifically when you look at the, the purest definition of the word, is stacking one piece of silver on top of another piece of silver. And in the case of coins, especially coins that used to circulate, well, the half dollar, I think, is a, is a good way to do it um, if you can find them for... Uh, the uh, lower premiums. And, um, you know, these half dollars do tend to trade a little bit higher premium and have been. I don't kind of understand why, but I think it's because there's a greater demand for them. It is, it's small enough that it's less than a half an ounce uh, that, and it's easier to keep track of, less likely to lose as a quarter or a dime would be. And storing it is, is, is optimal as opposed to having those, um, those smaller coins, dimes especially. Although I'm I'm not against stacking dimes either. I've got a lot of those as well too. I did buy some of those in a separate separate uh, purchase, but uh, nonetheless, uh, as little as it is, one half dollar, it's all you need. 
I know it just takes just one small silver coin to make that difference. And what difference is it going to make here? Because right now you're just looking at it. It's just, it's just all alone here. Other than my hand, this is all that's on the screen is that silver half dollar, that lonely half dollar doesn't mean a whole lot to you here until you look at the broader picture. And that's what this video is about, folks. We need to look at silver stacking as a small increments to a bigger uh, and a goal, uh, a means to an end. I went through uh, on, on a video that I uh, had done recently about selling silver uh, through boxes that I had of, uh, of better bullion silver coins. I realized, you know, I got a lot of that stuff I've accumulated over the years. Um, I almost really feel like, especially the exercise that I did last year for my full silver stack video, I really was not intending to do it. I was just kind of looking through some uh, of my other areas of storage, deep storage that I have in other locations. You know what, I, I was going through the, uh, the inventory, some of the inventory, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna pull it all together for a full stack. I just wanna see how much I have accumulated over the years. And you know, it's not as much as some others. There's a lot of different variety. A lot of it is in better bullion, or what some people call semi-numismatic. I don't like to use that term because something's either numismatic or it's not. Uh, but uh, you take all that stuff and you pull it together and you realize there's, you might have a lot. And so, and, and that is a lot comes through little increments at a time, little purchases here and there to, to get to the ultimate goal. And so I've started a series uh, that I've made into a playlist on this channel called Tubular Journey. That's right, Tubular Journey. And that is the, uh, how small silver stackers uh, for beginners uh, can look and find a way to meet goals through just a couple of coins purchased at a time or even just one at a time. So this coin by itself may not seem like a whole lot, but when you look at it in comparison to what you have done so far to accumulate, in this case, I have filled up over a half of a tube now of just small little purchases of these half dollars. So what am I gonna do now? Well, uh, I hope I don't offend anybody, but I'm going to put another coin in the tube. That's right. There we go, yes indeed. Adding one more, one more. You know what? And from time to time, it's good. Pull your coins out. Take a look at them. And uh, to kind of feel good about what you've been able to accomplish so far. You know, to stack a full tube of any kind of coin, I think is a good accomplishment. The tubes provide an instant way to track your goals and to track your purchases. As you know how many enter a tube, you can count them up and you can see where you're at. And um, in the process... You know, you see it filled up halfway. We are 50% there. We're halfway there. It's over. It's three quarters of the way tube. You're 75% there. It's a great way to measure your stacking success. And so you beginning silver stackers out there, I hope this video will be encouraging to you to press on and to stack on because it all matters, even if it's just one little coin. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now I think this tube holds twenty. That means I need six more. So let's put them in the tube and see if this makes half. Yeah, it's about half the tube. Plus four more. One, two, three, four. Need six more to fill it up. And that will provide me a good, uh, nice full tube of these uh, half dollars. And I'm not in a huge hurry to fill this sucker up. But you know what? It's always good. Uh, it feels good to know that you're that much closer when you put one more in there or two more in there at a time. It's fun. And so there you have it. So I hope you found this video encouraging um, and informative. And that's what it's about. It's about stacking at your own pace, your own pace, and, uh, and not comparing yourself to anybody else. Because in the end, it's really all about your situation, what's gonna be very different than somebody else's. You know, there's, there may be other people out there who may earn twice as much as you, but they have 
They have uh, twice as many debts that you have, which means that you may have more disposable income than they may have. There's others who have other uh, obligations or priorities that they have that are, they're dealing with. It means they can't spend as much. And, um, and you may be in the, one of those circumstances. So for you, adding just one silver coin a week or even a month, I think is at least a step in the right direction. You're still continuing to stack at your own pace using fiscal responsibility and um, making sure that your debts are paid first and any discretionary income that's left, well, you, you can uh, sift through that and put a portion of it towards silver. So there you have it. I'd like, I hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>